learned something slightly different. We are going to mention 10 most common mistakes while drinking wine that you should avoid. Okay, so I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read them out from my computer here. Um, typical mistakes. We've all been there. I'm sure you... Let's see how many of these mistakes you have made. Okay, you're gonna comment down below tell me I'm gonna read 10 mistakes and you're gonna comment down below telling me hopefully it's not 10 out of 10 tell me how many mistakes you've made. So, not now obviously, right now you're an expert listening to me and following my videos. Okay, let's go, I got it. So, mistake number one, number uno, holding the wine glass by the ball. Typical, typical mistake it means like holding your wine glass like this, especially if it's a white wine. And the reason that um, this is not correct, first of all, look at the structure of the glass. Okay, there's a reason we have this thing here. This is how you should hold it. I like to hold it like this. I don't know why I'm kind of weird, but this is the correct way to hold your wine glass. You do not want to hold it by the bowl because temperature rises from your body, from your body passes into the wine. And, uh, well, you just raise the wine temperature, especially with white wine, you want to drink this around 10 degrees Celsius, so you do not want to start warming it up. Now you might see me doing this with red wine. Yes, why do I do this, especially during the summer? The reason I hold Sometimes, even though it is considered a mistake, the reason I hold a red wine like this is because when you order red wine, especially, let's say, I don't know, anyway, when you order a red wine at a restaurant, they're gonna bring it, if it's a good wine bottle, they're gonna bring it from the decanter, so it's gonna be colder than it, than it should be, okay, so depending on the temperature, the, the not the decanter, I'm so sorry, the wine cooler, depending on the temperature, the wine cooler has been set, it could be, I don't know, 14 degrees Celsius, that's the, the temperature I've set my personal one, so 14 degrees, it's way too low for red wine, red wine should be consumed uh, at room temperatures of 16, between 16 and 18 degrees, for me preferably 18 is ideal, so when they bring me the wine bottle that has been in the cooler, it needs some time for it to reach room temperature, when, um, when I'm planning on going somewhere fancy, somewhere nice, and I want to have a good wine, uh, to accommodate my food. The only thing that you can do in this uh, occasion is to call the restaurant like a day before, ask for the wine list, choose a wine and tell them to take it out the wine cooler, like prepare it for you, okay, so it can be at the correct temperature. I know, anyway, so you might see me in the sun or during the summer holding with a sad face holding uh, a wine glass with red wine like this because I'm trying to raise the temperature. Anyway, let's move on to mistake number two. Let's see. Number two is swirling too much. I do this. I admit it. I swell too much. I swell all the time. I don't know why I do it so much. I love doing this. Swelling is important for drying out wine because it allows the air to insert your glass, releasing the aromas. The problem with this, I'm not sure if this is a rumor or not, but they say that if you swell too much, like all the time, you can create oxidation to your wine, leading to a result, making it, you know, taste kind of bitter. I'm not 
not so sure if this is true. It could be a rumor, but whatever. So, moving on to mistake number three. Yeah, I do swell too much, that's me, so up to now. One out of two mistakes for me. Let's see your final score. So, moving on, mistake number three. Filling wine glass to the brim. Yeah, you see people filling their wine glass up to here. That doesn't look good, first of all. Second of all, you cannot swirl it. <laughs> Third of all, I don't know, it's just, it's just wrong. I mean, you should serve the wine till the widest part of the wine glass, allowing as much air in as possible. Um, yeah, you see people filling up till here, till the top. And uh, maybe it's because, you know, their doctor says that they can drink one wine glass a day, so they get out as much as possible. Yeah, you could even, you know, this could be even considered one wine glass, why not? Look at this, yeah. So you could fill it up correctly till here, till the widest part still. Perfect setup for me, I mean, one wine glass a day, that's fine. Number four. Serving wine at the wrong temperature. Yeah, we've discussed this multiple times. You do not want to... You do not want your wine to be too cold or too warm. Okay, you need the perfect temperature. Bad quality wine can be covered by serving it at a very low temperature. Be careful of this, but be aware of this. So if you come across a wine that is served at, let's say, 7 degrees, maybe it's a terrible wine and the restaurant wants to hand it over. This won't be very common, though. Want to hand it over as a uh, good wine. Anyway, I don't know. Moving on, number five. Judging a wine by sniffing the cork. I partially do this. It's not by judging a wine though. The reason I do this is because I want to see if the wine is corked or not. So, and this is always with your typical cork. You cannot do this with a synthetic cork or uh, with a Stelvin, whatever. Anyway, you need uh, your normal typical cork to see if the wine is corked or not corked means that it is it has gone off let's just um, describe it like that number six break number six would be pairing the wrong wine with a meal so wrong food pairing Obviously, I mean, if you, let me, let me think, let me think of a disaster, so if you would pair, let's say, a very, let's say, barbecue, very strong flavored smoked meat that you have cooked, let's say a Wagyu, Wagyu beef, Japanese A5 Wagyu beef, if you would pair this with a very light, acidic white wine, it's a disaster. That will not go well. So you need proper harmony, proper balance in wine and food pairing. Moving on, I've lost count in proper wine storage. Definitely you can have, let's say, you can own an amazing wine bottle, and if it's not correctly, right temperature, um, right humidity, uh, you can completely destroy it, okay, which leads us to our next mistake, is not decanting old vintage wine, now, once again, amazing wine, let's give, um, let's say you have a wine bottle that is 15 years, aged in your wine cooler. Let's go with a splendid wine, uh, Chateau Margot. Let's say, for example, it's from 1990. If you open this wine bottle, do not decant it and pour it straight into a wine glass and 
try it out, it's gonna be completely disgusting, okay, because you have just woken, you have just awakened that, wake, awaken, anyway, because you have just, let's say, uh, brought back, not brought back to life, because this thing has been sleeping for, from 1990 till 2022, that would be like 32 years, this, this thing has been sleeping for 32 years, so when you awaken it, you should give it some time. It needs proper air to insert, and uh, yeah, it'll probably be something amazing in a position to, you know, if you shove it straight away, which will not be pleasant. Moving on, drinking wine in champagne floats. Okay, so, okay, champagne is wine, by the way, but sparkling wine. Uh, you know, the champagne flutes, okay, the very, the very narrow glasses, which are designed to hold the bubbles, concentrate, concentrate the bubbles. This is not correct for drinking wine. Uh, moving on, last one, drinking the same wine all the time, okay, this is not considered as a mistake, I would say, but you know, as a safe habit. If you want to be on the safe side, you order the same thing, something you know you enjoy. This is partially correct, partially wrong, I'm not sure. I always encourage you guys and everyone and say that you should try out new styles of wine, new flavors, mix and match, you know, see what works for you, and just experiment overall. So I guess that's it for today's video. 10 most common wine mistakes, what's your score? Mine would be 1, 1.5 out of 10, I believe. So that's all guys. I hope you enjoyed this kind of different, relaxing wine video. Please avoid these mistakes. And I guess I'll see you soon in uh, the next video. Be safe and drink responsibly. Cheers.